The Summerpedias are a set of Husamo books that get me a lot of views. Looks like you all have a first for Husamo information. Either that or you only want to see the illustrations. In this video, I'll be covering eight more characters, some requested by you. Let's get into the video. If you don't remember how the Summerpedias are laid out, check out my last video in the card in the top right corner. First are the characters from Summerpedia Volume 1. Let's start with Makan. He's 215 centimeters, 190 kg, and his summon date is the 16th of June. His art shows a full body ref of his normal form and his artifact form, some expressions, and his massive rap. His trivia mentions him coming from Shangri La and being a member of the Berserkers, in feeling a sense of camaraderie towards other people who have been TF, his frequent use of the Coliseum's public baths, and him liking to drink coffee and milk after said baths. His sacred artifact is his loincloth, which essentially grants him a mortality of super strength and a healing factor. In return, he experiences extreme hunger and becomes basically feral. Finally, next up is Nomad. He was requested by my partner. He's 181 centimeters, 85 kg, and his summon date is the 30th of September. His art shows his outfit and some other small details. Nothing much, but there's a lot of notes to you artists out there. His trivia mentions him coming from Utopia. His love for riding his motorbike, the name Nomad being a pseudonym. His tiger farm resulting from a unexpected body modification, and him liking to drink strawberry milk after baths. His artifact is an accelerator with a trigger hidden in his teeth. It lets his body reach extreme speeds. Interestingly, not everything caused by this artifact can be reversed, which usually leaves him almost naked. Now, we can get on to Summerpedia Volume 2, starting with Patty. He's 177cm, 72kg, and his summon day is the 2nd of February. His art shows off his artifact, outfit, and smaller details, alongside some notes. It's mentioned that his design is supposed to be plain, which is pretty cool, I guess. His trivia mentions him coming from Yggdrasil. His intelligence and place as an honor student at Daikin Yammer Academy. His love for Gabriel due to his role of seeking the moon, and by his role doesn't work as intended when there are two moons of equal brightness in front of him. His artifact is claw weapons, which can create images of light not much to say about it next up is typhon requested by at andrew oh fuck off and and oh, fuck off I ain't saying all that he's 249 centimeters 303 kg and his summer date is the 8th of july his ad shows his back his outfit his surfboard and his tummy big men his trivia mentions him being from olympus his fear of thunder and being alone and his resemblance to leviathan behemoth mentioned by the way his sacred artifact is volcanic rock which he capped into a surfboard. According to his page, his artifact can overturn the sky, the sea, and the earth. Before we move on, let's try something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment who you want to see next. I'll only be able to cover characters in the Summerpedias, but it's still worth shooting your shot. Now on to Summerpedia Volume 3, starting with Jambavan. He's 176 centimeters, 131 kg, and his summon day is the 1st of February. His art shows some expressions, his back, with his little tail, his little ponytail. <laughs> and he's good! His trivia mentions him being from Devaloka. His position as a researcher in the Closed Environment Biology Lab at Ueno Academy's Graduate Research Institute and is placed in the Beast Tamers and the Game Masters. His artifact is the Jewelry Stethoscope, which bestows blessings onto those who confront evil. Next up is Agio. He's 120 centimeters, 39 kg, and his summer date is January 1st. His art shows some illustrations of him with Moritaka and some of his grandfather. I don't actually think it's appeared in the game, which is the first time a non-game character has appeared in the Summerpedia. And there's also some other cute illustrations. His trivia mentions him being from the land of War, his love for cleaning and ruthless guidance to people with messy rooms, and infrequently training at shrines. His sacred artifact is a ball he sits on. He can summon multiple smaller balls and he can use it to perform purification rituals. Bosh. Finally, we get to Summerpedia Volume 4, and the bulk of our requests, starting with Wakan Tanker, Requested by at Isaac Chin. He's 183 centimeters, 107 kg, and his summer day is for 12th of December. His art shows his helmet, a plushie, his team logo, his back, and some other details. His trivia mentions his place at Yoyogi Academy, him being from the world of Great Spirit and being its pillar, and the exile of his world, Heoka, is mentioned. His artifact is his helmet, which is made from a buffalo skull. When pressed, it creates a wilderness of red clay around him, which is Pretty neat. And for our final character, we have Q Mao, requested by at underscore crows. He's 202 centimeters, 167 kg, and his summon date is the 8th of April. His art show. Wait, can I, can I show this? It, it's a little bit. Mm, it's a little bit unclothed. Yeah. No, oh, fuck it. His art shows his front, his back, some accessories, his horns, and this little illustration here. His trivia mentions his place at Roppongi Academy. Him being a CEO of a school's venture company, his original form being a bull who can reach up above the clouds. Holy shit, macro bull. And he's placing the tycoons. His artifact is his horns, which can change his height up to 3,300 meters. 
Holy shit! Macro ball! Before I end the video, I thought you'd all like to see Gams of the Who Sam Online stickers. It's page one, page two, page three, page four, finally, page five. Tell me which one was your favourite in the comments below. And finally, we're done. Honestly, I've left this video way too long to do. I do scans, voiceover, editing, all in one day. I did it. I feel like I could have done more, but I did it. These Summerpedia videos are going to have to slow down because I'm going to run out of stuff to cover. I sort of have this idea in my head of getting a bunch of GMOB related videos recorded. Like I could record a VR video in one day, with like maybe five VR videos in one day, and get them all ready to record on weeks where I have nothing to upload who's Samo related. I'll make it an every other week thing. Because I, I want to make content other than who's Samo, but I've got to test the waters first. Next video might be a summoning video, because there is a new banner, and I do, I really want to pull for the, for the event banner with the AR, because one, it's free, and two, I want to max out the AR, and maybe in a bar, but like, whatever. Oh yeah, um, classes are starting back up again soon, so, <laughs> my motivation is going to be down, down, down. So I might, I might get all that stuff done. Anyways, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment which character in the Summerpedia you'd like to see next. I've been Miraz, and holy shit, macro ball! Also, tell me. Ooh.